Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which are asked today in the Accenture hiring. So guys, do not skip any part of this video and make sure to watch it till the end. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing one question, but in but today only I will be posting two to three videos more in which I will be discussing the different different questions. So kindly do not forget to hit the subscribe button for latest notification. And guys, previously also if you are looking for the Accenture uh, coding questions asked in Accenture. So I have a playlist on my channel. You can see here. Here a lot of videos have already been posted, and many more videos will be posted today only at night. So make sure to subscribe this channel and do share this channel among your friends. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, first I will be discussing the question. Then I will be discussing the approach of this question, and in the later part of the video, I will be telling you how you have to write the code in the exam. Okay, so question here is. given a set of numbers one can arrange them in any order but it pays a penalty equal to the sum of absolute difference between adjacent numbers now let's just read it again what we are given we are given a set of numbers we can arrange the, the numbers in any order but we will have to pay a penalty equal to the sum of absolute difference between adjacent numbers return the minimum penalty that must be paid so what does this mean so uh what what are the first let's just see what are the inputs first input is the length of the array that how many elements will be present in the array next is the uh, uh, each element of the array that uh, e next input will be the elements that are present in the array so uh, now let's just see with the help of example what it is saying what we are given we are given list of numbers or you can say array of numbers 1 3 2 is given now we can arrange these numbers in any order but we have we will we will have to pay the penalty that will be equivalent to the absolute difference of adjacent elements so in the end we have to return the minimum penalty so what we have to do we simply have to find the arrangement in of these numbers in such a way that the uh, that the absolute difference sum of absolute difference between adjacent elements is very low so we have three numbers like 1 3 2 now let's just see in how many possible ways we can arrange it so one is uh, one such way is one uh, One, three, two only. So in this, the absolute difference between adjacent elements is the absolute difference between one and three is two. So two, uh, two plus the adjacent difference between two and three is one. So two plus one is three. So if we arrange these elements in this order, then the difference absolute sum of absolute difference between the adjacent element will be three. Next, uh, next arrangement is like this: one, two, three. So here, if we arrange, uh, if we Now calculate the sum of absolute difference between adjacent element. It will be two uh, minus one is one. Uh, absolute difference between one and two, and absolute difference between two and three. That is one. So it will be two. Next arrangement is uh, next arrangement that is possible is two, three, one. So here the again uh, what is the absolute difference? The sum of absolute difference two minus three one. One minus three is two. So one plus two is equal to three. Next is this particular thing. And again, in this also, the absolute difference will be one plus two, that will be three. Next arrangement is three one two. In this also, what will be the absolute difference? Three uh, one minus three two minus one that is two plus one that is three only. So one plus two again three. And uh, last configuration is three two one. So again, in this, what is the absolute difference? Absolute difference is three minus two. Uh, three minus two that is one. Plus two minus one that is one that is equivalent to two. So you can see that in these two cases, in the these two cases, the sum of absolute difference between adjacent elements is minimum. So in the end, what we have to return? We have to return the minimum penalty that must be paid. So minimum penalty for this case is two only. So you can see that the answer is two. Now one thing that you have to observe here is that for these two cases, the answer is minimum. And if you will see clearly, you can see that one two three and three two one. these are both sorted order this one is uh, sorted in ascending order this one is uh, sorted in descending order so i hope this thing is clear to you so if our elements if our elements that are uh, if the in, uh, input array will be in so, uh, will be in sorted order whether it is in ascending or whether it is in descending then the sum of absolute difference between the two adjacent element uh, with the elements of the array will be less that will be minimum so you uh, i have proved here that if the elements input array is sorted if the input array is sorted whether it is in descending order or whether it is in ascending order so then the sum of the 
sum of the difference of apps uh, sum of the absolute difference between elements will be minimum so here you can see it so now let's just see what how we will approach this question so the approach of this question is very uh, simple what we are given we are given th three elements in the starting one three two so these are our elements we will do nothing but first of all what we'll do we will sort the sort the array it will be now it will become one two three you can sort in any order you can sort in ascending order or you can sort in descending order so first of all what we'll do we'll simply sort the array let's just suppose i have sorted in ascending order now what we will do we will calculate the difference calculate the absolute difference between the adjacent elements so here one and two are adjacent elements so the difference between them is one next adjacent elements are two and three so here the absolute difference is one so we will simply add these things and our answer will come out to be two so this is the answer that we have that we have we will have to return from the function that will be given to us now i hope the entire question the approach of the question is clear to you and now let's just see how we will be writing the code for this particular question okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code so in accenture exam you do not have to implement the entire code that is you do not have to write the main function you just have to write the function that have been provided to you so the input will be coming to you on its own you just have to implement the function so what i have done in the function i have written two inputs one is the size of the array that is how many elements will be present in the array next is the actual array that is with the elements that will be present in it okay first of all i have told you that we will sort the array now i have used this inbuilt function to sort the array and this particular function is present in this bits slash stdc plus plus dot h library it won't be it won't be accessible to you if you do not include this particular library in your code so if you want to use the inbuilt sort function then you will have to include this library so we i have sorted the array now this sort function will automatically will by default uh, sort the array in ascending order so now after the sort function i have called now our array is sorted in the ascending order so what i have done i have taken a, a variable name sum in which i will store the sum of the absolute difference between the adjacent elements so now what i will do we, i will iterate over the array using this for loop int i is equal to 1 i less than n i plus plus so we have to take the difference of adjacent elements so what i am doing i am storing the uh, storing the difference of each adjacent element uh, of each pair of adjacent element in this sum variable so what i am doing inside this loop we are simply doing sum plus equivalent to absolute value of current element minus the previous element so therefore i have started this loop from i is equal to 1 and i i is equal to, not from i is equal to 0 because i am taking the subtraction of the current very uh, current element with the previous element so and this subtraction that is the absolute value of this difference i am adding in this sub variable and after this loop is over the uh, the difference between uh, the sum of difference between adjacent elements will be stored inside this sum variable and simply we will return this particular sum variable from this function so i hope now the code is clear to you now let's just see on certain test case so uh, this is what i have given you as input now the answer should uh, come out to be 2 for this case as i have seen as we have seen earlier so again you can see 2 is coming so you do not just have to what you have to do you just have to first sort the array then you simply have to uh, sum the uh, difference of adjacent elements so guys i hope this video was very helpful for you if you have not subscribed to this channel till now please subscribe it because more such videos will be posted today as well as previously also i have told you that on in this playlist previous questions that were asked also are uh, published here so kindly the link of this playlist i will give in the description box kindly uh, visit this playlist and see for yourself that what type of questions are asked so guys thank you for watching this video and Kindly hit the like and subscribe button for this channel. Thank you.